Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox, my fellow Wuperians. Let's go ahead and do something new. So today I wanted to play around with disabling collisions but still doing massive damage. And to start that, we're going to use Earth. And I actually want to try to invert Earth. Well, I don't know if invert is the correct word, but you know, rip it apart and have it kind of shuffle itself into a new existence of little bits of debris connected together by the plasma. Yeah, that works. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the position vector of Earth and set it to zero, zero, oh, that didn't go well. Zero, zero, zero. Fantastic. And then we're going to go to our simulation rules and we're going to turn off collisions. Now, at the same time, we're going to get a black hole here, one that's smaller than the Earth, uh, but much, much more massive, and we are going to put it right at the exact same spot as the Earth. So opening up that distance vector again, we're going to set it to zero, zero, zero. And now we are going to see what the results are. There is a chance that nothing will happen because collisions are off. But with the tidal forces in the rush limit, I'm curious if the Earth will rip its own material closer into the center of itself. Um, and that is what I mean by inverting the Earth. So we will s Did... Oh, it... It's just gone. What? Wait a moment. That, that, that shouldn't have happened. Uh, with collisions off, nothing... Wait, what? <laughs> I'm very confused. Wait. Alright. Motion, distance, one kilometer. Slow things down. What is it going to do? I have a bad feeling it's just going to disappear again. Wait. No, we have something. So it looks like you can't put them in exactly the same, but look at that! Look at the black hole as it goes back and forth across that one mile gap because it was slightly off. That is hilarious. And it's slowly getting off more and more because of simulation error. Interesting. But there, there's a black hole inside of the Earth and nothing's happening. I won't lie, I expected a little bit more to happen than this. Is it accelerating? Oh, look at that as it slowly, yeah, yeah, the accuracy is falling. Look at it go. It's yo-yoing back and forth. When your internet speed's bad on CSGO and you start rubber banding. Wow, it is absolutely shaking the screen apart. Oh my god. Look at it go! The Earth is jittering so hard. Oh my god, we, we have actually... Oh look! It's slowly ripping the Earth apart! Oh, it's getting to the point now where it's actually going outside of the Earth. Oh my god. We've created an earthquake machine. Look at it go! Oh my god! We built- oh my god! Look at all the material, it just gets shot- oh! Wow! That is a very- oh, can we get a background that makes it easier to see what's going on here? One moment. See if we go to the view, and if we go to the background, if I can just find something a little bit brighter. That we can- oh my god! Wow! Solid white, maybe? Solid gray? A dark gray. Wow, these are all very fun. I just want it to be easy to see. Yeah, I think the that's actually best. Look at it! Oh, as the black hole goes back and forth, it is just making an absolute mess. Throwing massive amounts of mass out of the Earth. Actually, the atmosphere is starting to get thrown away as well. But it keeps going back and forth. It's it's kind of kind of entrancing. I wish I could turn off collision for a single object instead of everything. That would make it a little bit more interesting. I wonder if we po position locked the uh, black hole. It would probably cause just Earth to do this yo-yoing. Let's try that. Position lock on the black hole. 
And yeah, Earth is just yo-yoing now. Kind of... We have actually created an earthquake generator. This is so interesting. It's going to turn the Earth into just slowly turn it into just debris. With collisions off, unfortunately, we can't really see what this debris is doing to Earth. Um, but I wonder if we just speed things up a bit, if we can get the accuracy of the simulation to drop a tiny bit more, and if it'll get even more crazy. Let's go ahead and attempt that. Oh, wow! Look at that! Oh, it is just absolutely ripping Earth. Oh, man. That is brutal! Firing all of the mass out of it from both sides. That is absolutely insane. Oh god, and it's running away back at the black hole now. Where did the black hole even go? Yeah, okay, and it's going this way. Where's the black hole? Where is the black hole? I guess we'll find it. The Earth is going towards it, for sure. Okay. Alright. Earth is moving. Did we lose it? Oh yeah, Earth is super far. Looks like it actually escaped. How much mass do we have going on here? Uh, wow, over half of the Earth's mass was lost. That is pretty heavy. Oh boy. Man, that is, that is pretty rough. I can't believe we created like an earthquake machine, that is so neat. All right, let's go ahead and switch the background. I kind of like this nebula green and yellow. Um, let's go ahead and put Earth down, and we're gonna just do one other thing because I'm curious, very, very curious. If we set Earth's uh, position again to zero, right? Oh, we can just do it here. Zero, boom. If we get two black holes, and we position lock them each a reasonable distance away from Earth. We'll do this one right here. Then what we'll do is we will position lock both of these after we put them in the right spot, of course. Okay, we'll do this zero. Do this zero. It has to be perfect to ensure that the gravity is balanced on both sides. I think I accidentally got rid of a zero there. There we go. And then this black hole, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Ten. Oh, whoops, we wanna do negative. There we go, they're both the exact same distance away from Earth. Easier to tell if we go this way because the name obviously makes it look like it's to the right. Um, and then we do zero, zero. Now, we're gonna position lock this. We're gonna position lock this. I don't know, we're gonna start Earth position locked. We're gonna turn down Tidal effects 3.45 plus 2 to the 87 Milky Way. I have a feeling there's an issue with that. Hmm. Alright. We're gonna continue turning this down. And let's see about ripping Earth in half in style. Milliseconds are gonna go by now. Let's go ahead and take a look at Earth's mass. which if we start running the simulation at a non-zero speed, it can't go faster than 0, 0.0. What? 
Now here we go. Time is moving. No, it's not. Time is not moving. Why is time not moving? Why can't it run faster? <laughs> is it this map? Excuse me. That's un- is the game just dead? What the heck is going on here? I'm really quite confused. Is it because everything's position locked? We've really freaked out the game. How about now? No? This is really odd, we broke it. Why did it die? I delete one of the black holes. Ah, huh. now it's working. Why didn't it work with two black holes? Why are they moving? Oh, I unposition. Ah, oh. okay. You know what? We're going to attempt that next time. I'll see if I can play around with that. But for now. Thank you all for watching, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Plasma. Very nice. Also, don't forget to go on discord.gg slash if you really want to see what's up, because we run a country and stuff, it's great.